Hello, my name's David McClelland, and I'm a tech journalist and a presenter. And I'm here today to help you out with some of your tech queries. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to find a web key. Now, first of all, what on earth is a WEP key? Well, WEP stands for Wireless Equivalent Privacy, and it's a way of securing any networks, wireless computer networks, that you want to join. Now, these wireless computer networks are at home or maybe in the office, and what WEP does is that it allows you to make sure that only people who need, to, who are supposed to be joining that network uh, are allowed to. In order to join the network, you need to provide a password, which is known as a WEP key. Now, quite often this WEP key can be found actually printed on the side of the router. And that's the case for a lot of consumer routers that you buy, that your ISP, that your internet service provider will send you. Other times when you buy a router from a, from, a, from a computer store, then there will be no web key set at all and you have to set it yourself. And other times it's a standard web key that's gonna be the same for all routers of that make. Really important that you change those keys when you buy that, otherwise you're running the risk of being insecure and everyone else being able to hack into your network. However, what if you happen to be in an office or at somebody's house and you want to join their network, but you don't know what the web key is. How can you find out what it is if it's not printed on the side of a router? Well, here's a way. What you need is to have a computer that's already connected to the network. So here we have a computer that is connected to a wireless network that's here. And what you do is visit, you browse to the wireless router. So here I have a, a T-Mobile wireless router. And on this router, it will have all of the configuration needed for that wireless router to function. So how it connects to the internet, but also how it secures its network. And one of the key things on here is the WPA pre-shared key. So it's, whenever you see anything that says key or passphrase in it, you know that's the web key that you're looking for. And here, simply by clicking on show password, it reveals what the password is. So with that password, any other devices, not only computers, but also things like phones or tablets or even printers will also need this password in order to join the network. One thing to keep in mind is that you need to know the address of this wireless router. And again, that's something that's gonna be written down in the installation guide. Usually it's a default address, something like 192.168.0.1 or something like that. That's about it, really. Uh, hope you can get onto your network. Good luck.